All right, what is up, everybody? We are reading some Bryden Guy, uh, probably just the first chapter. I know I'm also reading ten right now, but it's a very long series. <laughs> I mean, it's not that long. It's only like a hundred something chapters, but it, reading five chapters takes like an hour and a half. It is it is a lot of reading, uh, so I'm getting through the series very slowly. I'm doing like five chapters every week or two. Uh, just until I get through it, so, uh, but, I'm, I, I can't, I can't, I need to read more Fukumoto, I can't handle it, so we're reading Brian, Bryden right now, Guy, we'll just call it Guy, that's much easier, BG, we'll call it something, but, um, yeah, so we're reading this, it's short, uh, I don't got anything else to say, I, I know it's something about prison, that's all I know, something about prison. Okay, and it seems to be monthly chapters too. That's pretty cool. Actually, I think most of Fukumoto... No, most of the series are weekly, I think. I don't know. Stand alone. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. These <laughs> these scans are not that good. But, uh, sadly, most Fukumoto series don't have very good scans. They have good translations or anything like that, but most of the scans aren't that great. I think uh, Akagi and Kaiji have some pretty good ones, but... But it seems like he's already running away from the law. And he's barefoot too. Yeah, he's dead. Oh my god, that is quite a lot of cops. But, never mind, they saw him go in there, but they didn't go after him. Or are they about to go after him? So stand alone. So stand alone. Because, well, but that doesn't really go into anything that you were saying. That they're sprouting destined to break the world with their growth. So stand alone. Why stand alone? Break away. Suspected murderer? Did he actually do it? Probably not, but it's probably what this is all about, stand alone, because he got wrapped up in something he shouldn't have, so he's saying stand alone. Perhaps? We'll see. This is a great way to set the tone of the series, though. He's even got, like, I mean, yeah, he is a murderer on the loose, assumingly. Hmm, so he's got some tactic that he's been able to break through police barriers somehow. I don't think we could already see if he had that scar on him yet or not. Uh, still haven't seen that side of his face. But he's just rusting. I like this guy's design, but he reminds me a lot of... Oh, and there they are. Who's that guy, the detective? This is a fantastic shot. Whew, this art is like... On a different level for most of Fukumoto's series. Like, even his series where he shows off the city, it's usually not this detailed. Or, like, this well-directed, I guess? Uh, I don't know. But anyway, I like I like the main character. I'm not sure what his name is. Um, because he, But he reminds me a lot of the one guy from Kurosawa, who I also can't remember the name of. Um, uh, I mean, he's the guy that looks like this. <laughs> That's who I'm talking about. What was his name? Uh, we're not going to remember it. Okay, looks like he does have the tattoo. Looks like he does got that. Okay, and get what? Hmm. And, and what? Yep, so that means he's there. Are the helicopters going to screw this up somehow? Okay, they're coming in from above, it looks like. They're setting up something here. Coming in from above. Or, okay, maybe not. Maybe they're blocking the helicopter's view. That probably is what it is. Yeah, but yeah. That's that's good on the police, blocking the view. I mean, is it really just for the human rights and everything like that? We don't know. But if it is, that's very good. Three downed officers? Yeah, officers that got beaten up while patrolling the area. So a total of eight of them. Wow. So they're they're just covering their own asses. If he does somehow beat them all up and escape, they don't want that on camera. It, or is he actually trying to say that he'll let this happen? He'll let the kid escape? Man, he's in junior high. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he looks a lot older than that. <laughs> but all right. Uh, kudo guy. So... His name is Guy. Okay, makes sense. 
Yeah, he does have the tattoo. Okay. He has that tattoo. Is That must be tattoo, right? What else could it be? I, I said scar at first, but that's got to be a tattoo. That is a scar. Okay. How do you get a scar like that? <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. So he's saying it wasn't him. And I'm I'm inclined to believe him. We'll see. I, we, we haven't seen anything yet, but that would make this story pretty interesting if he was framed and he's having to deal with it. Oh, pulling out a gun. No, he's not going to shoot you. He's, he's What the hell is up with this detective spinning around a goddamn gun on his finger? Who the fuck are you? And now he's giving him something else. Hey, uh, what is that? I don't know. A lightsaber? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this, kid's, this kid's testing him. But yeah, he knows that it's electrified, I guess. It's an electric baton. It's like a taser, but like an entire stick. Oh, if I should not have done this at night, I'm very tired. It's probably why we're only going to read one chapter. It's a coward's tool. I mean, yeah, I guess so, but this is police arresting a murderer. I don't really think you can count this as normal fighting stuff. You know, it's a coward's tool. Most So are most police stuff because they're not trying to win a, a, a battle of pride, you know? He's going really hard on him. Like, he, like what? This is his job. What do you mean? Okay, good. Yeah, he's saying the exact same thing. Make it an arrest. It ain't, it ain't a fucking fight. Okay, it's a job. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah, that's also a thing. Human rights, man, he can't just beat you senseless. <laughs> he's got to do it in a way that keeps you the least injured. And so he swishes down, but he doesn't stop. Or, but he does stop. Why? I don't, I don't Okay, I don't understand. <laughs> Why this detective is playing with him so much? Just arrest him. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? You just said about this being your job, and you're trying to play with him like, I wonder if you can block it. <laughs> Who, what? Just do it. It looks like they've all, got, they've all got mini versions of it, apparently. And, yeah, he. I don't think he can escape. I mean, obviously, he's going to go to prison, I think. <laughs> Again, I, I know it has something to do with prison. I don't know if he's actually going to prison or or what, but so he's still going with the innocent, the innocent tactic. It wasn't me. So there's no reason for me to be arrested in the first place. <laughs> as if that's going to make him stop. Or as if that makes him justify in his own mind, maybe. Things won't go the way you think. Hmm. How's it going to happen then? What is he trying to do? Is he just testing him? But no, he seems like he's actually got a plan somehow. What is he going to wall jump around them? And he's bringing up his fists. Getting ready to fight. Hmm. Okay. This guy is a natural born fighter. Apparently. Really? Already you haven't even fought him. Just the stance is scaring you off. You are the worst detective in the world. Okay, yeah, I guess so. Don't underestimate him. But still, man. Still, you got an entire force of officers behind you. Even if you get knocked out, just try. And he read him straight from the side, no? Of course he is. And now you're backed into the corner. I don't understand how, how this guy is going to take out an entire police force, but we'll see. Maybe he won't. Because in those odd moments, that's when guy strikes. That instant gap in time. Oh, he went and got his nose. What? He got his nose. What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I got your nose. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's very true. He could have could have taken your eyes out. That was just a test to show you that he knows exactly when to strike at that moment. That moment when your nerves stop working. Okay, so now they're all ready too. But they're... Okay, no, nope, those are not shocky batons. Those are just regular batons. Okay, I can I can definitely see how he's going to take them all out now. So, yeah. If you think you're just going to take down this guy with regular batons, you're fucking stupid. 
Though I am surprised they have, I don't know, I guess maybe just that one officer had a gun. Because I'm pretty sure even most police officers in Japan don't have guns. Uh, I could be very wrong on that. But, I think the, the fact that he fights barefoot is probably very important too. I'm not sure why, but they keep they keep showing his bare feet. So yeah, he's saying that he has this natural talent, this natural born talent to fight. Which I guess I can see. Normally I'm not a I'm not a fan of that type of thing of like the oh they got talent. It's something that even ninety nine out of a hundred people couldn't achieve. I d I don't believe that, but I'll go with it for the sake of stories like this. You know, I'm more in the mind. I mean, even for stories, I prefer it when it's the type of thing of like, oh, well, if you work hard enough, you can do it. I don't like it when, they, especially when, like, a main character has a talent that sort of is innate. Uh, but anyway. Anyway. So he's trying to talk some sense into him, trying to make him back down. Of course, he's not going to do it. Yeah, it wasn't me. Again, the exact same page <laughs> with those fists. Okay. I guess we were just showing it again because that's the last page of the chapter. Um, well, that's certainly an interesting first chapter, but I guess we're going to keep going because, uh, I don't know. Is this is the second chapter going to conclude all this or is it going to lead into uh, the next thing? Mm. Well, we'll leave it at chapter one for now so that way I can do... Multiple chapters for the next few. Uh, probably. Mm, we'll see. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of like him as a main character. I'm not so sure yet. We'll see. Um, I, I certainly like the way he fights or anything like that. But the whole innate talent thing, I just don't. I'm not a fan of that in stories in general. Uh, so I hope we see someone that can sort of rival him at some point in the series that doesn't have that innate talent that did work for it but uh i mean i i not that to say that i don't think the talent thing is a thing i think i just don't agree with it and it, this is not actually set in stone this is the case this is just what the detective said but what he is what the detective was saying of the, 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 there's out of out of 100 people 99 percent of the people who put in the effort aren't going to be as good as you who just naturally have this talent I don't agree with that message. I, I agree with the message that, yes, he's innately talented, and that happens all the time. That you can be, in, like, a master at something just innately. But uh, I, I think there's definitely still people who can rival you and be even better than you if they give it their all. Uh, or if, if he tried to practice, he could get even better, too. Uh, but, yeah. Other than that, I think it's a great series so far. Uh, fantastic start to it, especially just the first few pages leading into everything that was that was great great mood setting for the whole scene for the, for the whole series rather uh all right i'll see you guys for the next one get the fuck out of here all right sadly we lost the reaction to chapter two and three but there's nothing we could do about that can't really get it back so we're just moving forward chapter four um i will say uh basically uh, what's his name? Guy is gonna. He went to prison. You know, he accepted it. He's gonna prove himself innocent, but he didn't. He wasn't able to in time. But the detective, he is. Uh, he he found out that he is innocent somehow, which I'm excited to see how he figured that out. What do you think? I really like chapter three though that we got to just see the detective's like day to day life. Uh, how much he just like doesn't give like he just doesn't give a shit about life in general. He's just kind of going with the flow. He's he's a crooked cop as well. Everything he was saying, I was kind of um, uh, like against him at first because I was like everything that he's saying is kind of like it, it's it's not really true. But glad to see that he was just faking almost all of it. He was just saying whatever came to mind. Okay, he's gonna go have an interview with him. All right then. The bizarre feeling of actually being interested in a case for once, maybe. It's my astonishment in realizing my astonished self. What does that even mean? Okay, so it's nothing. He just had a hunch. That's it? Really? Okay, never mind. What proved my intuition? What about it, though? What about that evidence led you to believe that, that the actual judge didn't see? What do you mean? 
Really? For a juvenile offender, they don't... That can't be. That can't be. Are you serious? That is... That is crazy. That can... They should be forced to. That that should be a law. Like, that, that's insane. That should be a fucking law that you're... You're forced to take the stand. So, that was completely, uh... I, I know exactly why he was able to find it out without the court seeing it, because the court ain't doing shit, basically. Absolutely way too, way too many loopholes. Way, way, way too many. There's no, what are you kidding? How fucked up can this possibly be? How fucking, Jesus, this is, this is a real shit show for juveniles. So he, he is going to be in, in, in juvenile detention, basically, a detention facility. Or a private facility, that's also true, but... Uh, I, I don't know why I was imagining he was going to go to, like, hardcore fucking prison prison. Well, okay. This is a little bit less extreme than I was imagining then. I mean, the whole situation is still fucked up, but... Two years for murder? Two years for suspect- Like, they suspect him of murder, and they're only going to give him two years, even as a juvenile? That's pretty fucked up in and of itself. Even if we do know he's... he's being wrongly accused and everything like that assuming he was rightly accused two years for murdering somebody oh, okay I was gonna say he seems kind of fine with it but no he is oh he hates it Kuyashi <laughs> wait for him to fight back how so I can't even get a read on this guy yet I don't know what the fuck is his deal uh how are you gonna do this okay you can help him it's possible what? You don't need his help? Come on, man. What is wrong with you? Let him fucking help you. What is wrong with you? It's gotta... Okay. You have to be the only person to take revenge. Is that it? Also, by the way, I want to talk for a second about... What the fuck was up with him in Chapter 2? Where he was suddenly talking about, like... This is my power. And I need to use this power for good. Like, he's gonna put his fist to good use... In terms of proving his innocence, I don't really know what the fuck he was talking about. That, like, totally lost me. I had no idea what he meant. Like, I don't even know what the detective meant by, like, the power in your fist. You gotta use that for good. Like, I guess, like, karate and stuff like that, but, like... I don't know, he took it, though, a weird way with, like, using his fist to prove his innocence somehow? You're gonna break out of prison. You're telling that to a fucking cop. Okay, that's what you meant. With your fist, you're gonna punch him in the face and make him confess. You stupid piece of shit. Absolutely. Jesus, guy is a fucking retard. Okay, already on volume two. Uh, we had quite a long uh, first... Ooh, that was spoiled, probably. Oh, well. It's a good thing I didn't want to see him. Okay. Uh, ooh, much, much higher quality pages this time. Nice. How is this your budge? It's not even like the guy purposely framed you, really. I don't think so, anyway. Maybe he did. I guess he's gonna have to with the way this series is gonna go. I mean, I have no idea, but, like, it's gonna have to have some climactic ending with that, right? Mmm, is that it? Does he just want the money? Is that really all it is? I don't know. I want to believe it's not, but at the same time... I think he's going to say it's not about the money, but it is not about saving you either. It's, uh, it, we already know it's not about saving him. It's just kind of about uh, shaking up his life a bit. Okay, I guess it is for the money. Is it really? <laughs> really? I mean, yeah, but you you have money already. I mean, you don't have much money, honestly, but... <sighs> I guess he just... I don't know. I assumed there was a little bit more to it. Maybe not. He just wants the money. Uh, well, if it is really a framed case, then... Uh, I don't know. What do you mean? Who do you think the real murderer is? Someone in the family, I guess? Because it can't be, like, someone just broke in. Because they wouldn't be able to frame him. But it could also be some, like, person that was hired to do it. But then, I don't even remember what his... <laughs> what, what was he doing at the house? I don't even remember. He's not a part of the family, right? Yeah. He was there for something. I don't remember. But. I don't know. If it was a contract killer, I feel like it could have still been framed, right? 
Why not? What do you mean? Why? Well, I guess if it's a contract killer, they wouldn't bother framing somebody. But the person who contacted them for the contract would, right? So yeah, he's just trying to blackmail. Him. <sighs> but if he's just blackmailing them, then he's not going to, be able to be saved, because they can't prove it if you're blackmailing them. No, God doesn't fucking trust you anymore. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, the fact that he's being realistic about all this, but I don't think he's going to go along with your plan. I don't understand. If he's blackmailing them into keeping the secret for money, how are you going to prove his innocence? He's, gonna, he's definitely going to try and escape. I have little patience. No guarantees. Is a detention facility really harder to escape than an actual prison? <laughs> Oh, okay. He was thinking about a correctional institute. Yeah, that, that'd probably be way too easy to break out for someone like him. One more thing. Why? Yes, that's the most important question. Why is he innocent? Like, I guess, I mean, he already did say it because of the family thing. The uh, It has to be someone that's in the family. But why not him? It could have also been him. Also, you know, Guy seems very convincing himself. Seems like he could probably convince you that he's innocent, even when he isn't. Hell, what do you mean? I don't know about that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you're trusting Guy way, way too much. Alright. So wait, he's okay, he's already, yeah. Oh, never mind, He's he's been waiting. I always forget, like, how long it takes to even just get into the prison. Like, there's a lot you gotta go through and, and shit. But, uh, alright. It's been... Oh, um, okay, never mind. I thought it said three months. That's why I was like... it has been quite some time for him to be out and about. Okay, where is he going? Do they say exactly? No? Is this a detention center? Is it a correction facility? What is it? A juvenile consultant office. Oh, wait, no. And from there. Named the Human Institute. What the hell does that mean? Sounds like a correctional facility. Is this guy reading fucking Shonen Jump? No, it just says a magazine. When they say are allowed to go outside, what does that mean? Okay, so the way, yeah, the way he's saying it, I assume they mean out of the facility in general, like able to walk around town for a bit? For, for what? One day? It just says once every other month for for one day. I get yeah, just off day. So I guess one day you get to do that. But because I was gonna say, uh, I thought they meant like that you could go outside and see the sun one day every two months. But uh, yeah. What what do you like? What's even the point of that? This guy's such a pushover. How is he working in a place like this? Nothing but an errand boy. What is it? Why are we getting to see this guy? Okay, I think he's looking at him like this guy. He's going to be easy to push over. He's going to be easy to control. He's taking the handcuffs off. Seriously? Why would you... The like, guy's not even eating. What are you doing? Is, is he... Okay, maybe you got food for guy. No, don't. Please don't do that, Kurata Kun. guy is such a fucking idiot. What the hell? <laughs> He's such a doofus. <laughs> D okay. Never mind. He's, he's actually smart. Hmm. You thought you were tricking him. No, no, no. This guy was tricking you. Whoa. I did not see that coming at all. Doofus turn genius. Okay, okay. That nice shot of the plane flying over the country. Why? Why did you even need to do that, though? Why? Why did you even need to do that? Like, is it some place they're not supposed to know about, or something? Like, to where how to get there, so they can't escape?
Okay, this this looks a bit uh intimidating. These guys wearing these like military like hats, these military like uniforms. Like it's not even like a guard uniform. It's like that's like some straight up military type shit. Okay, okay. This guy's a great actor. I'll give him that. What is with these uniforms? What is with that? That is creepy. Okay, that's all we're going to do for this video. Um, I will see you guys for the next one. Uh, I was going to say get the fuck out of here, but I'm going to talk about this first. Um, I mean, this seems to be a lot more than meets the eye. Um, this institute isn't exactly a correctional facility, or it is, but it seems like it's going to have some underhanded methods. It's going to be very strictly run. When they say you're allowed outside, it is not what we think it is. I'm not sure what it is, but it's not what we think it is. Not in a million years what we think it is. No way, no how. Alright, uh, that's it. I'm glad the guy has this sort of, like, friend dude. I mean, obviously they're not friends or even give a shit about each other at all. But it's someone that he was with before getting into this facility. And that's enough, right? That's enough. That's all we need. <laughs> Especially in this type of environment. That's all you need. Just someone. One person. Alright. Uh, I'll see you guys for the next video. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, we're reading some more. Bryden Guy. Chapter 7. Regrets. I can imagine there's going to be quite a lot of regrets. I'm still very shocked this guy turned out to be. Like, maybe not the guy in charge, but he's certainly uh, someone important here. What did he ask him to wear again? I don't even remember. Oh, oh, right, the, the uniform they got to get into. Obviously, yeah. It's a fucking prison uniform. No shit. Uh, they got guns. Yep, that's kind of bad. Because this is Japan, too. I didn't think they would actually have guns. Oh, Jesus. What does this take place quite a bit in the past, maybe? Did he just shoot him in the goddamn leg? Oh, uh... Is that's not... It's not It's not a uh, gun. It's it's what it is, is a um, ballistics gun, right? Something. Uh, like rubber bullets. That's what it is, but still. Yeah, it's a riot gun. The ones that shoot, like, rubberized bullets out. Yeah, rubber bullet. That's why it looks like it's grenade launch. I didn't know those, those guns were grenade launchers. Jesus. This guy is very, very serious. I mean, obviously, though, he needs to be for a situation like this. <laughs> now everyone's panicking to change. I bet. God, you better hurry up. You better hurry the fuck up. Okay, yeah, now he's like, all right, all right, all right. No problem. They look like middle schoolers now. They're all... <laughs> That's a prison jumpsuit? I mean, it's a, it's not an actual prison, but... This is a bit strange. But, I mean, is this really a correctional facility? The Human Institute does not sound much like a correctional facility. Yeah, I mean, if he went out and got the lunch himself, makes it much more uh, easy to believe, and then... Um, they would want to actually drink it, so for that, harder for them to refuse it, right? That is true. That moment where they, I, I said that too, like, are you are you idiots? Unhooking their hands and everything like that, their cuffs? But that was a chance to escape, but he knew that's why he had to get your trust first. I like how they say all rise, and he's the first one to rise, the guy that got shot. Okay, we're going to see the director. Seemingly the, the guy who runs the institute. What the fuck? Okay, yes. What the hell? It's like this... This is like an actual like forced labor camp, actually. This is a little bit more than jail, even. This is like an actual prison. This ain't just jail. There just remains. This place used to be a military facility. Maybe that explains the uniforms, but not really. The walls and towers are pure good intention, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. That's all it's for, the reporters. What is, what are they doing? Who knows? They don't look like beaten or anything like that. They're just kneeling there. What? God, this whole facility is so creepy. That guy's very, very tan. 
This guy's being way too nice. What's up with this? Hmm. He's not going to tell you where it is. All right. All right. Where is this? Oh, boy. And how do you go about making them have happy lives? Can we have visitors? Really? It's okay? Are you sh Hmm. What? What? They're starting to cheer up, but that's... This is all... Why not? If you want it, sure! Bullshit. This guy's gonna snap. He's gonna be like, what? You think I'm fucking... You think you're gonna get all this? What the fuck is wrong with you? Children of the... De exactly. He's trying to see how far they would go with this. Think about it. Yeah, an institution who shoots people if it was nothing would allow such things. What fucking idiots are these people? They, they so easily went into his pace. Like, of course, of course this is all fucking not true. We will crush them all. I mean, these guys are kind of bastards. But, uh... <laughs> I mean, of course this guy was going to turn out like that. Of course he did. We all knew it. We all knew it. It was just a trick. Those fucking idiots. Those, how do they not see that coming? I actually agree with this guy a lot. Where people tend to, to say, you know, society in general tends to say when someone does something, they want to kind of relate it back to like, well, you know, it's also because of this or this, their background, their family, the school, the, the situation, it's this or that or that or that. When that's all bullshit. It's, I mean, I'm not going to say it doesn't contribute to it. But that's not the point. There are plenty of people who have had the same shit happen and didn't do bad things. But guess what? It's the person who did the bad thing that's at fault because they fucking did the, the bad, the evil, the dead, bad thing. <laughs> you know, it, it, people are fucking evil sometimes. And people got to accept that. Not like there's pure evil in the world. Yeah, there's plenty of that. But I'm not going to say that, you know, most people are like entirely evil or anything. Like if someone's a criminal, I'm not going to say they're like entirely evil, you know. There's good to them. There's good to everybody. That's why you should re rehabilitate them, you know? Not just, like, condemn them for forever. But you shouldn't let them off the hook just because, like... Or go lenient on them just because, oh, well, you know... It's also because of this or their background or the, the place they were in. You know? Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck that noise. I agree with this guy completely. Even though I'm probably not supposed to. I agree with him completely. Yeah, I... I, I get, like, that too, you know? Because the more you dilute it, and then it just becomes less and less of a of a problem to where it's not even a problem anymore. Like, especially in, like, one case, like, in a case where, like, somebody can do something to someone else, and people will see the person they did it to as being, like, they're the bad person, so it justifies the person who did it to begin with, when that's complete bullshit. It doesn't matter who the other person was. It doesn't matter how bad person B was. If person A did something evil... To person B, even if person B was evil, it shouldn't be justified. You can justify it yourself by saying blah, 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 but the public should not try and justify it as saying, eh, let's go easy on the sentence because the other person is... It's not like they're literally saying let's go easy, but they just continue to dilute it and and talk about it less and less and, like, amp up the other person as being eviler to when when you're actually doing the sentence, it, it's like you're not even talking about what actually happened anymore. I, I know I'm not supposed to agree with him, but I do. I absolutely agree with him. <laughs> what are they bringing in now? Oh, boy. I don't know. But I'm kind of on his side now. I'm kind of completely on his side as if he was the hero of the series. <laughs> so, like, this, oh, that is the Steel Rod. That's the chapter title, actually. I didn't even see that. Okay. Hmm... Good, you shouldn't you shouldn't give a shit about being called a bad person or not. I'm an asshole, I know it. Who gives a shit? Okay. Maybe this is just a demonstration. He's not gonna beat him with it or anything. Yeah, I get what he's saying. Things can change you and everything like that. And again, what I said, it's not about how much things can change you or or push you towards something. It's about whether you take that final step and do it or not that really matters. Okay, he did bonk somebody with it. 
How can you turn this rod back then? Melting it down completely and reforming it, right? Like he was talking about also. A blank slate. Make them start from new. Heat, right, yes. Apply strong heat, melt it, and reform it. Is that, is that Guy? Yeah, Guy just said show it, really? Shut the fuck up, Guy. Okay, they're gonna use the C-clamp on Guy. <laughs> Go for it, he is being pretty damn pompous. He deserves it. <laughs> okay, they're gonna take his ball. A single one of his balls. Alright, never mind then. That would be a bit too much, I guess. Alright, a special lecture for just Guy. Sure. Sure. I'm kind of, I've completely switched sides. I never, I honestly never really connected with Guy that much to begin with. Uh, I didn't really particularly like him. I didn't dislike him, there's nothing about him I disliked, but I didn't particularly like, like him or anything either. Uh, nothing about him made, made him stand out as like, oh yeah, I really like this guy. Uh, so I'm totally on board with the director now, actually. I, I, I'm all on board for him. The other guy staying? Didn't he tell him? Okay, yeah, yeah, he didn't tell him, okay. I mean, he, he did tell him to leave, like, you know, just guy. But he's gonna stay too. For some reason. Okay, he wanted him to stay even before the guy said anything, but then he says, You're a smart boy, it's exactly what you think. Like, talking about what he did say. Okay, whatever. The only one who's denying your crime. Okay. So yeah, he, he's, he's the only one denying it because he thinks that he is actually denying it. Uh, which, in his position, makes sense. What he says makes a lot of sense. I would actually really like this story if it turned out the guy was guilty. That would be a really interesting twist if that was the case. I don't think that's going to be the case, but yeah, that would be really cool. Because there's nothing to give a shit about Guy for right now. I Like, why am I supposed to like him right now? There's really nothing about him to like. I mean, again, there's nothing to dislike about him either, per se. But, I don't know, he's not a very interesting character. He's just kind of there. Okay, we're going to see a little bit about uh, Guy's past. At age 13, the summer of your second year of junior high. Okay. What do you do? So yeah, you had a really shitty role model, apparently. Okay, and he also made him work for him. He was an illegal occupant. Okay, okay. He was comfortable with all this. Of course he was. Why not? Rich as in he was alone, that's all he wanted. All he wanted was to stand alone no matter what, even if it was in the fucking worst situation ever. Sure, alright. What does this have to do with this at all? Why is this a credit page? What? This is honestly making me hate Guy. He is the- he's so annoying. I don't- I- like, this is the type of character I fucking hate. It's- it's not- I I don't know. It's so annoying. I just I want to be released from these dull conversations and these dumb classmates. This is so stupid. Fuck this kid. Fuck guy so much. I hate this guy. He's he's talking so much smack on these kids, but it's mainly just because I think he's just like pushing his own thing. Is about he, he grew up in orphanage. He didn't have parents. And so he's very overprotective of that. And I think he's, that's like, it's like, what's that thing? Where like, you, you hear a new word for the first time, so you, you start hearing it all over the place, that type of thing. But with this type of thing, with, with like people talking shit about their parents, because he has such an interest in it, that's all he feels like he hears. I feel that's gotta be what it is. There's no one, it's not like literally every fucking person on the planet Earth is talking shit about their parents. Okay, good, then they are bringing that up. Yeah, it's just because you were in a fucking orphanage. I mean, yeah, no shit you can't get a fucking job. You're 13. Why the hell are you trying to get a job at 13, you stupid idiot? 
He's such a loner piece of shit. I hate him so. I don't know why. I just I don't like the characters that are like, oh, I just want to be alone for forever. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is where he finds that guy. What do you mean? No, no, you're not free. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I don't understand. I don't understand. His whole thing is he wants to be completely independent, but he wants a job where he's making money, dependent on the job. Here, he got a job, being dependent on this guy, being dependent on Akeda, giving him money, being dependent on- What? I don't understand. I don't understand his logic. There's such a disconnect there. Why is one thing okay, but the other thing is, is different? What? I don't understand. I don't understand, guy. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? He's okay. Is that what he's saying? Self-dependence. He was never saying self-dependent before. He just kept saying he, he wanted to be independent. But independence is different from self-dependence. If it was self-dependence, then fine. Yeah, I'll give him that. What, what happened this time? The atmosphere changed again. What do you mean? What happened now? That was what reality was? What are you- what? Me, depending only on myself. That was what reality was. Isn't- Huh? Oh, Jesus Christ, this guy. This guy. This guy, man, why? <laughs> That's- I didn't even realize I was making a pun either. This guy. No shit it wasn't accepted by the people around you. Cause it's not reality. You're fucking dumb. You're so stupid. God damn it, guy. He's so autistic. What is with him? He's so weird. That's against... Oh my god, he's so weird. What is wrong with him? I'm completely on everyone else's side. What is wrong with him? I mean, yeah, let him be. I'd say let him be. My problem is that we see it from Guy's perspective, who's just like, Oh, fuck you all. You're all idiots. Fuck you. I'm right. You guys are stupid. <laughs> Why? Why? Why practice fighting skills? What does that have anything to do with any of this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, how does this have any connection? Oh, God, why? How are you faster than light? What are you talking about? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. So that's why he was fighting. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, I finally understand. I finally understand one thing about his past. <laughs> why he was fighting. Why he was practicing, like, uh, punching and stuff so much. This would have been nice if I gave a shit about Guy. Because it would have been cool to have an actual, like, fighting series by Fukumoto. Like, Kurosawa is really good, but it would be nice to have another one, like a second one. Uh, but no. No, I mean one that's like a, a strictly about that because Curtis I was not really about fighting, you know. Uh, there just happens to be a lot of fighting in it, but uh, I mean, I just not. I don't give a shit about guy. I don't care about him. <laughs> okay, because they went to go attack Akeda. Yeah. Uh, this is the guy from that family, the Harata family, maybe. But anyway, that's the end of this volume. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Guy, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. I gotta read the rest of this tonight. This only was what, 31 chapters or something? We can probably get through that tonight, because I gotta, I got I don't know. What is this story? Uh, it's 38 chapters, maybe not. Uh... God, you fucking imbecile. You big idiot. <laughs> Alright, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, reading some more. Guy, chapter 14. The plot.
the plot. I mean, I assume that's the the murder plot, like uh, plotting the murder, not like this is the plot of the story now. Right. Okay. So now we're gonna really see how the hell this was all happened, how it was framed. Okay. This is some guy from his class. Okay. It was only the hostile side. Wait. Was this the one guy who was like, uh, guy yelled at before? What did you even tell your dad about him? There's this guy that lives alone. Okay, the fighting skills. He just shuts the door. No, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, but he's gonna hire him as a bodyguard. 10 million yen. Of course it was suspicious. Yeah, hiring an underage kid to be a bodyguard through his fucking fists. <laughs> and the guy who lives in a rundown shack out of nowhere. Why did this kid even tell him, tell his dad about you? And late at night, apparently. Yeah, the fucking mansion. <laughs> but that would instill him like, oh, okay, this is legit. 10 million yen from this mansion? Yeah, it makes sense. Why did they all set him up, though? What was the point of all this? Why would they go through all this for him? Like, a specifically guy. <laughs> The setup for this is so ridiculous, too, because it all seems so casual, but the way he's going about it is like, but there's evil monsters, immortal snakes. And, like, I, I, yeah, probably, but, like, <laughs> it being, like, uh, superimposed over this image. Okay, makes sense. You don't want to have these type of guys, like, actual security-looking dudes walking around. But if you have this random fucking kid with a scar walk around, that's fine. No, I changed my mind. No, that doesn't make any sense. No, that I changed my mind. No, I don't believe you anymore. I mean, not like I believe you to begin with, but I was like, all right, that seems convincing. No, no, it doesn't. A parting gift. His hands, his fingerprints on the money. There you go. Okay, so he's got to fight this guy and win. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, all right. A knife? What? This is ridiculous. <laughs> but at least he has his fingerprints on the knife. I mean, like, that's their plan. Their plan wasn't to get him to stab him. I'd assume, I would assume, what kind of shitty plan is that? Yeah, this is all so suspicious. If he wasn't blinded by the money, this would all be like, yeah, nah, I'm not going to do this. Now he thinks he's up to something, but no, he's going to walk in and that's, he's already dead. So they could, what the hell? Okay, slipped on, oh, it was covering up the body. Okay, and now he's got, but he doesn't have his fingerprints on the body, just on this thing, this towel. The, this family is fucking genius, though. Like, it's, it's so ridiculous in the way they go about getting his fingerprints and all this shit. Like, of course, no, a guy tried to explain the situation. No one would fucking believe him. It's the most ridiculous scenario in the world. It's so fucking, like, just bizarre and out there that they would go through all this. But, uh, I mean, it's the truth, but it's understandable why no one would ever believe him. And, okay, now a guy just made it way worse. Now, yeah, you got his blood all over your hands. Okay, now, murderer. Murderer, murderer. Yeah, it all worked out perfectly. It all worked out perfectly. <laughs> God, you fuck. I mean, it's not his fault. He was blinded by the money, but... Jesus, this family is a conniving son of a bitch. And they're fucking happy little smiles, too. The are the police in on this? Who would believe this man? Oh, thanks for coming. My grandfather was just murdered, by the way. Here's the culprit. Nice to see you on this fine evening, isn't it? What is up with this guy? The police are on it. The police are in on it. They have to be. Okay, and then, see, he might have possibly been able to talk his way out of it. I'm not sure how we could prove his innocence from all this, but, I mean, there might be some. Maybe they had cameras in the house, something like that, but, I mean, that would still be the case if he could do that. But punching the officer just kind of sealed his fate. Even even if you were proven innocent after all this, you, you still assaulted an officer, so you're going to go to jail for that. I don't know. Why, why didn't you flee the country at night? I mean, 
I guess it might not have been possible, but like I would have been like, alright, I'm out of here. Fuck it, fuck it. I'm leaving the world. But I guess, like you said, he wanted to prove his innocence. Okay, and of course, I forgot he was telling all this to the warden. I forgot this is all happening in real time. Like, this is all story time. But of course, like I said, no one's gonna fucking believe you. That story was goddamn ridiculous. So vile that you could come up with that. Of course, why? Why would it, why would you think anyone would believe that? That story is so like. I mean, we know it's true, but like, no one would possibly believe that. It's insanity. This film was smart. They came up with the most dumb ass shit to possibly get you to touch the weapons and shit. Exactly. It's just so random. Every piece of it's just like what? What? what what? Every piece is more weird than the next. Oh, shit. Okay, he's actually saying that. I thought we were supposed to be like, but like, okay, good, good. You say like, yeah, they, they, they made it like this. That way his testimony would be fucking insane bananas crazy. Okay, so the warden's playing devil's advocate. Let's say I believe all this. Let's say it's all true. What about the time? His time of death was approximately 9 p.m. Okay, yeah, he went there at 11 p.m. And... He, the police officer said he was there at 9, too? I do, I do think the, the officer was working for the family, too. <laughs> okay, I do kind of agree with Kyle on that, you know. Is it news to you that the police can't be fucking bought? It's one officer. I'm not sure about every single person being bought out. I feel like at some point they just kind of go along with it. Even if they haven't been bought out, but they certainly have bought out a lot of the people. I'll, I'll admit to that. Okay, I don't buy that for a second. I don't think this this place is connected to the Her Herado family at all. I don't. I don't think so. I don't. I think that's a bunch of bullshit. Okay, he's gonna show him definitive proof. I'd like to see this. That should certainly be interesting. Definitive proof that he was there at 9 p.m. Hmm? What? Okay, let's see. What is this? A videotape? Yep, Harada Family. One, uh, five, six. Hmm, at a little over 9 p.m. Looks like he's like, yep, yeah, looks like it. I mean, they could have just changed the clock. They could have just changed the clock, honestly. But, I mean, that's that's pretty fucking, no, I don't think that's not very definitive proof. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. But this series, I will, I will give it. It's constantly answering the questions I'm having. Or like, when I think, I'm like, okay, that's a bit ridiculous. It's like, well, you're probably thinking this is a bit ridiculous. And then it answers it. But yeah, the clock does not prove anything. Even if it was 11 p.m., you can simply change the time. Yes. Wait, what? Okay, no, okay, I thought he was just gonna leave it to that. Over here. Right across from where you were running away, and there's a clock in there. Let's blow it up. Enhance. 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 <laughs> See, okay, it's what he's watching. The exact same time, the owner of this house was watching TV. The camera caught the final stage of the Chunichi versus Yo. I'm glad that it wasn't just like a time, like a clock in another person's house. They like made it so specifically of like what was happening during this ball game. That's infinitely more uh, interesting and cool. I think that's something that only Fukumoto would do. Any other thing, I think they would do it like a clock or like just something like that. But uh, or like oh, it was you know this show was on at 9 p.m. But this is like. Specifically, it was during the end of the eighth inning, right after Trinichi at bat. Take a look back. Like that's that's specific as shit. That's like I, like you you can't you can't buy that out. You can't you can't buy out the person to be like, uh, hey, change your channel to, or like I guess I don't even know what they could possibly do. They're like, how would you even buy out something like this? It's too specific. Okay, never, never mind. It is a fucking close up of the scoreboard. God damn it. I thought, come on, Fukumara, I thought you were better than this. 
It shouldn't just be a close-up of a fucking clock. I think it would be way cooler if they could be pinpointed down to that moment. And be like, that moment happened at 9.15. In life, in, in the world, that moment happened at 9.15. You can't deny that. It is. I mean, you can say they bought out the fucking entire goddamn stadium to, to do that or something. Like, what? Wh Maybe the ball game is taped? I, I was assuming this, this this story took place before VCRs even existed. I thought the series was in, extremely old, but apparently not that old. <laughs> what? What did you realize? That was when... Wait, 9.15 p.m.? What? They overlooked that one. What? Do you, what? What? What's going on here? What are you talking about, boyo? What? What is the? Okay. What is the thing? What is the thing then? Hmm. They overlooked that one. That one what? What could it possibly be? What could it possibly be? I don't know. I don't know. How would you get from run away with this video? But I guess, okay, so we can't we can't uh, know right now because he's got to steal the video camera and escape. If it just tells the director, the director's in on it too. So it's not going to work. You can't do it right now. No, 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 you can't. You, there's no way you're going to escape this room. Like, wait a little bit later and then try your escape. It's still going to be near impossible, but if you try and run out of the room right fucking now, you're dead, boy. You're dead. You're dead, kid. Yeah, we really don't know much about this institute at all. Okay, but the, the, the tape is still on his desk. Are they going to take it away? That's the important thing. Uh, tracks. He sees tracks. So that must mean that cars can get in and out? Okay, okay. Piece it together. The lead pipe. Or the steel pipe, whatever they called it. Steel pole, I don't know. The bag of the video camera. And these, these marks along the ground. They look like tire tracks, though. And it's behind this rock thing over here. I don't know. I don't know what he's getting at. He murmured some action. What? Okay, he's gonna escape right now? What? What? He's gonna try to escape right now? Seriously? Alright, guy, go ahead, sure. Why not? Let's see. Okay, but I mean, he, he has a plan, apparently. And he took all these guards out instantly. Hit him with the bullet. Okay, he got them both. And now he's out the window. He's just, like, sitting there casually. Are these guys not going to shoot him with a fucking bullet? Okay, yeah, the bent stick is useless. But because it's bent, he can do something with it because it's like hooked in a in a like cane shape. Yep, he's gonna hook onto the under the windowsill. Or not? He just flipped out, and landed on his feet. He's fine though. Oh, okay. Wait. What is he gonna run off the rock? Jump? Hook onto the wall with the thing and then climb up it? That it has to be what it is. That it has to be. Oh god, they shot somebody else. They just Yeah, everyone get down. Get down. And this is like an escape that only guy can make because he has this pipe. This steel rod, whatever. So yeah, it's a definitely a lot further than you have thought. Okay. Everyone halted because there there's officers on both sides shooting at him, so they're gonna hurt each other. So they're gonna get in front of him though, because they think he can't go past the walls. 
Because he, he realized this before, that he had a once-in-a-lifetime chance and he squandered it. So now he realized he had a once-in-a-lifetime chance and he's like, I gotta take it right now. If I, if I wait, then it's gonna be exactly like last time. I feel like something might go wrong, though. They're building this up like it, it's, gotta, it's gotta happen, it's gonna happen. Which makes me think it's not gonna happen. Yeah, the tire tracks, which means there must be a car behind those shadows. It won't, it'll be a truck. Yeah, the tree planting, okay. A light truck with an elevated driver's, sight, driver's seat. If my inside proves me right, I can do it. I assume he's going to run up the, though, okay, what's he going to, huh? If it's a light truck. If it's a light truck, okay, it is it is a light truck, what does that mean? Okay, okay, I guess the rocks are just there to hide the truck. But he's going to jump on top of the truck and do it. <clears throat> and the director realizes, he's going to hook into that thing, yep, here we go. Jumping, wall running, you got this guy, you got this guy! Okay, okay, glorious view. He's gonna make it then. It worked! He hooked in! Okay, there you go. Now you gotta climb before getting shot. Because you're gonna get shot. Oh, you better have a... I guess he got guys that have a guy who would have a lot of uh, upper body strength. He did it. He made it. Well, okay, wait. What's on the other side then? Is it just another prison? <laughs> just... <laughs> he escapes one prison into another prison? Is that it, maybe? What else could it be? Uh, ocean. It could be... More guards. I mean, what could it... It could be a lot of things, honestly. What is it? Hmm. It must be this is only the first wall of many. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe not another wall. It's gotta be an ocean. Just a, a vast... Is this a fucking island? And that's why they flew him in? They flew him in because it's an island? It's so beautiful. It makes me cry. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Out of the frying pan into the fucking fire. How the fuck do you escape? And they've got guards down here, too? Oh, shit. Shit, nigga. You are in deep. You can't get out of here. Oh, fuck. How is he going to possibly break out then? I was going to say there's quite a bit of the series left, so... Okay, I'm going to execute him. All right, then. Well, that's certainly... All right, then. Oh, so they're just going to hit him right now into the sea. <laughs> a 50% chance of dying. All right. Bang. Oh, they got him. And over the wall he goes. Gotta live. How, though? How are you going to do this? It seems like he's taking the, uh, must fall instinctively? Oh, must fall inside. Okay, he's back inside. They got the tape back. Alright, so that wasn't really execution. It was more like a gamble execution. Will he actually die or not? He's in pitch blackness. And whatever this is, these things, he's in a box, he's naked, naked, I'm completely naked. <laughs> what is going on here? He's in a box, he's in solitary confinement, he's, uh, who knows where he is. How many chapters, we got three more chapters left, we'll just do it all in one video, do a volume of video like Kaiji. Sure, although this series is a little bit slower to read than Kaiji. The others are here? Wait, what? The others are here as well. Where? Oh, okay, there he is. Just him, though. Just him. What the fuck? It seems like a glass, like, ceiling. Oh, okay. oh it was a two-page spread. That's why. It was a big two-page spread. Who's he talking to? Who the fuck is the director talking to? Because he's the director. Who's he talking to? I guess the Harada family? Is he actually bought out by them? Uh, of course he is. This guy, he, yeah, he, he wanted to take over his grandfather's place. Now he's got fucking women waiting on him all over the place. Oh, this fucking guy. I actually didn't think he bought him out. 
I thought Guy was just bullshitting. Oh man, I'm kind of disappointed. I really liked the director. I really, really liked him. But now learning that he's just crooked, I don't know. I, now I don't really like him anymore. But I really liked him up until now. Oh, okay. No, I kind of like, I kind of like, I don't know. Does the director actually? We don't know. We don't truly know. He might just believe that, like, the Harada family doesn't want Guy to get out, so that's why they're contacting him everything like that. We don't fully know, and the way he's acting, at the very least, at the very least, at the very least, even if he even if he was bought out by him originally, he doesn't share his ideals. He does think that he's reforming Guy. Whether he knows that Guy didn't actually do the murder or not, maybe he's trying to reform Guy from his, his stupid autistic viewpoint of his whole life. Uh, I don't know. But he, he, he certainly thinks that he is reforming him. It's not actually brainwashing. All right, time for class. Let's do this. What is going to happen? What the fuck is going to go down? All right, and these guys, these guys are new, too. They're first-timers. So now we get to explain what's going on without it feeling weird. Cool. Oh, boy. What's going to go down here? Education. This is education. We set straight the children corrupted by the current <clears throat> education system. A true education. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It looks like they all got halos over their head now. What the fuck? It's like... It, it, oh my god. Because they can just like walk over them and shit like that. It's in pitch blackness though. And they're doing it to all of them too. Not just Guy. This isn't something... This isn't replications for Guy. This is... And they call it education. A class. This happens quite a bit. Okay, a little bit brighter. Uh, what the fuck did he just do? He put his hands up and a fingernail came off. Or they just dropped the fingernail down. Those are from the previous children. Okay, they desperately scratch and pound it on the tempered glass. Oh, I get what he's doing! I get what he's doing! You can't even stand in this place. You crawl around like a baby. They're trying to reset them from start. You're just a baby little baby boy. The children. That's what he's saying. The children. You, you, they're treating them like literal children right now. Until they can grow up. Jesus, that is fucking twisted. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the people on the stairs. That's right. It's because they spent too much time kneeling on all fours. The muscles and bones were hardened enough for them to spend the rest of their lives like that. Jesus. So what do you do to get out of here then? What do you have to learn? And, and this guy, honestly, th he's just as warped as they are. That, like, he thinks they're changing. He, he thinks he's helping them through all this. And he's absolutely not. I, 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 like, I like him because I love insane characters. And insane characters are, like, my favorite characters ever. The characters that think they're doing something good when, like, they foolhardily think they're in the good uh, when they're not. I love those fucking characters. They're just delu completely delusional. But, uh, he's a fucking madman. So, yes, years and years, rot in this doghouse because you are dogs. Then what do you, you, there has to be something to get out, right? Other people have gotten out, though. So what do you do to get out? What do you do to get out of this place? What lesson are you learning about growing up? At least they can sit. That's good. At least it's big enough for them to sit. A little bit hunched over, but... Okay. Took eight days. He finally returns. We're sorry. We're sorry. Oh, sticking their hands up through the holes are big enough for their hands. Oh, God. That is a nightmare. Just seeing his hands pop out, that is a nightmare. How about you? I admit... Uh... Don't have any other choice, exactly. Nope. God damn it, you fucked it up for everybody, you idiot. But you can't do that. You can't turn on them.
They must get food, right? And stuff. The boredom. It's, it, this is fucking crazy. This is goddamn insanity. Like, oh god, this is fucking torture. Literal torture. Oh, I'm getting so, like, claustrophobic even reading this. Oh, I want to get up and run. I want to... Oh! This is so bad. Like, god damn, they can really make you feel for this. Like, being in a situation. Okay. On the 22nd or 23rd day, he came back. Oh. And this is the, the, when you leave somebody alone for this long by themselves, only just their thoughts, can't stand, they can't do anything, they're gonna come to think, whether it is brainwashing or not, you know, that, that they were horrible human beings, and they're gonna think back on their actions and, and realize how wrong they were. Again, whether that can be counted as reforming or not, that's up to debate. You know, I think it's pretty obvious, no, they can't be counted as reforming, but it's a method. I'll give him that. It's a fucking method, for sure. I refuse to believe Guy would be like this. I refuse to believe Guy... I mean, actually, never mind. I can, because he's the alone guy. He always wants to be alone. He's always alone with his thoughts. The The muscle atrophy and stuff like that must be tough, but other than that... Alright, a question. Turning off the lights. A single question. You cannot discuss the answer. Sincerity, an answer with what comes from the bottom of the heart. And you, when I ask and you agree, raise your hands out of the hole. If Okay, that's what these holes are for. If you disagree, stay as you are. Understand? Whoever raises their hand is wrong, I believe. Already, I believe. It's reverse psychology. Is the human institute just? That's tough. That's tough. See, because you're immediately going to start thinking about what does he want to hear. You're not going to answer honestly. And I think that's what this this is a test for. He's trying to test your honesty first before the moral question. Well, I don't know. I will ask you a single question. All right. I mean, I, this is a single. It's not, it's not testing the honesty and then something else. It's a single question. What? Okay, I gotta think. Forget about what they should do. What the fuck would I do in this situation? Like, I feel like... I feel like my immediate instinct would be raise my hand. You know, that's what he wants to hear. The institution's just, yes. But I would immediately self... You know, second think myself and, and think... Second guess myself and think... I, I don't know. Is he really... Is he trying to... Like, does he realize if I put my hand up there... Clearly I don't think it's just... He knows if I put my fucking hand up there, I don't think it's just. He, he fucking knows. There's no way he's that delusional. I, but it's tough to say if I would actually stick with this decision in the end and not stick my hand up. What the fuck would you do in this situation? Like, wh what's the right answer? I mean, I want to say to them, don't stick your hand up. That's what he's going for. Don't do it. That's, I, but I don't know if I could even do that. I don't think I could. I don't think I could stop myself from putting my fucking hand up. As much as I want to believe that's the wrong thing to do, I think I would do it anyway. As much as I would like to say I wouldn't stick my hand up, I would. I would absolutely would. Of course, everyone has guy isn't though. 8 out of 10 say yes. Guy and the other guy didn't. Die. Yes, those two were correct. See, I knew it. But I wouldn't even be able to stick my fucking hand. I mean, I wouldn't even be able to keep my hand out. I would fucking do it too. I would have been just like that. I would have fucking stuck my hand up. Because I'd be too afraid of being wrong. I wouldn't want to go on that leap. All right, crush them. No, 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 no. This fucking thing goes farther down? The ceiling goes fucking lower. I don't think they're not actually going to crush them, obviously. But the ceiling goes even fucking lower. So what, they're just laying on the ground for days now? Oh, God, we got one more chapter in this fucking volume. 
these videos are going to be coming out pretty damn late, like pretty damn sparse. It's, I just want to say this, it's, it's, it's going to seem like I put this series like on hold for a while from that, but that's probably because I'm going to have to render these videos overnight. So they're going to come out very, very slowly. It's going to take a while to edit each one. So I'm going to be picking up some other series in the meantime, because this series is going to be done basically. I'll be, fin I'm probably going to finish it tonight, most likely, but, uh. So I don't want you guys to think I dropped the series or anything. I mean, at the time this video is going to come out, you're going to realize I didn't, but. Oh my god. No! Don't push with your back, you fucking moron. You goddamn moron. Did, did that really work? Just pushing back with your back? I don't know if that worked. He's not going to do it now. Of course not. Okay, or he's going to restart the lesson. But if he asks the same question again. Okay, he's going to ask multiple questions this time. You have to either answer yes or no. Depending on the number of correct answers. For example, if six of you answered correct and four got wrong, four more correct answers. Wait, wait. If if six of you answered correct and four got wrong, for more correct answers than wrong. Okay, for more correct answers than wrong, I will have the ceiling raised. It will rate. I will raise it one centimeter for every correct person. Okay. So if all ten of you answer correctly, it will be raised ten centimeters. The more you get correct, you'll finally be able to stand up. But when you get wrong, it's gonna lower same amount. All right. So this is the lesson: be correct, be honest to your soul, and and you'll be fine. What about five and five then? Does nothing happen if it's, if it's five and five? Okay, so that's why the ceiling dropped, and you'll eventually be crushed if you keep getting it wrong. It will be better than living as a dog, I suppose so. Alright, on to the first question. Oh, okay, this guy's got a fucking question. Answer, just like a life and death situation, you stupid bitch. Put your soul into it! You ain't got no choice. It's not like this is a fucking game. You don't have a goddamn choice. Don't ask your question of how can we possibly do this. You ain't got no choice but to do it. All right, question one. Are humans the most superior of all living beings? Answering from the soul. I'm going to have to answer all these questions too. I mean, we got to. Are humans the most superior of all living beings? I'd fucking answer yes. You know, I'd like to say... No, I'd like to say all life is equal. I'd like to say, you know, I, I get fucking depressed if a dog dies. I, sometimes I get more depressed if a dog dies than a human dies. I'll admit that. I'm a fucking monster. But I, I think, I think in my soul, human is the most superior of all living beings because I'm fucking human. So my life is more important than anybody's. I, I mean, going even farther than that, I think my life is more important than anybody on the planet. Of course, it's me. I'm, I'm the fucking, I'm me. Of course, you as a person are going to want your life. You can you can try and sacrifice yourself. I ain't going to fucking sacrifice myself. I am the most important man alive, okay? I want me to survive. All right, who's going to raise their hand? Three answered yes. Oh, you guys are fucking idiots. You guys are fucking idiots. Did you not hear what he was just saying? What, I mean, again, that's kind of going into what you think he's going to say. But, you know, it's better than living as a dog. He clearly realizes human beings are more important. Lower it. Lower it. But, okay, we got to get some reasoning first. You are an idiot. There's no such thing as inferiority or superior in living beings. Bullshit. Even forget living beings. In humans, there's superior to inferiority. There's all that and everything. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Oh, the electric pole. We're bringing that back. God damn. He's, he's absolutely right. Having livestock, having shit that is okay and shit that isn't okay to eat, that type of thing. It's, it's bullshit. Yeah, if, if you if you think humans aren't the most superior at, like being on Earth, then go fuck yourself. Stop eating meat. You know, if you're if you're a vegan rubber and you want to say humans aren't are the most superior being, whatever. You know, sure, fine. Uh, I, I you know I still think there's probably some some logic like logic holes I can poke in that, but and eh, that's a little bit more acceptable. But like for the majority of people, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Human beings are superior. I still think vegans go fuck yourselves. Humans are the most superior creature on earth. But you know, 
that said, whatever. I'm not saying go out and randomly kill fucking animals and shit, but we superior. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Dropping it a little more. Should we have nuclear weapons? That's, that's a different question. That's not much of a moral one. Should we have nuclear nuclear weapons? Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to answer that in this time. Like, you know, this year? I can't really answer it thinking about in the year this was written or anything like that. One, because I don't even know what year it was written in or anything. But, uh, so I'd keep my hand down. No. Should we have nuclear weapons? No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. There's no need to. Uh, yeah, I mean, in all honesty, I've never even thought about it. Ah, fuck! God damn it, I get shocked. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've thought about it, but I've never thought of, like, like, should they have been invented? Yes. Should we ha like, should we have, is a, is a weird way to frame it. Should we have invented them, and now that we have invented them, get rid of them? Yes. Should we have invented them in the first place? No. I mean, either way, I'm sort of saying the same thing. Should we have nuclear weapons? No. I, he's right, though. I mean, I've definitely thought about, like, how fucking terrible it is that the world is, is like, you know, everyone has a fucking nuke at this point. At least the, the important people. You know, the people who can do shit. <laughs> okay, raise your... Well, I mean, you kind of already... Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm, I, I forgot that raising your hand and yes. Okay, never mind. But so the majority wins. Jesus! What's wrong with you three? <laughs> I, I can't get over the way he said, Jesus! <laughs> like, that expression of, of, like, disappointment at that. Wait, what? Are you, wait. The answer is yes. What? A nuke is, you see, a devil, a sin of humanity. No, what? That's fucking stupid. You're a dumbass. Fuck, fuck the director. What kind of logic is that? You said, should we have nuclear weapons? Not like, like that's different from like, do you accept that we have nuclear Like, I can understand why we have them. I know why we have them. I know how it became a thing. I know we're never going to get rid of them. I, know, I can completely understand all of that. Do I think we should have them morally? No. No. And that's what you're asking. Not like, do you understand that we have them? Yes, I understand that we have them. Yes, I have to deal with it. Yes, I understand. I can't just run away and say, oh, I wish we didn't have nukes. It's a thing you gotta live with. It's a thing you gotta fucking deal with. That's not what the question was. What is he doing? <laughs> He's hooking up a hose. Are you dogs or humans? You're humans. Raise your damn hand. I don't know. He called you dogs earlier, but I'd raise my hand. I'm a fucking human. Wait. Oh, okay. Dogs, raise your hands. So, no, I wouldn't raise my hands. No, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Shock the goddamn. This guy's getting the shit shocked out of him. You goddamn idiots. No, he's not. He's not. Fo okay. You know, I think the I think the new can the new question was pretty fucking stupid. That one was a bit of a forceful thing, but I think like this is all retarded. Like him saying he's forcing this question. No, no, these guys are just idiots. They're the ones who are going along with it, like who are trying to play into his hand. They're the ones who are being idiots. But guy was never, never maybe not. Guy was trying to like force him to do this so he could roll out of the way and grab. What is that? A dart? Oh, okay, and then he's gonna grab it. Yeah, so he's gonna shock the fucking warden too. Okay, guy. Alright then. Alright. He's gonna shock the, the fucking dude too. Alright, alright. You know, I think I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna split this video up into two videos. We'll do the escape and then we'll do this whole uh, question thing. Uh, screw doing it as like volumes. We're just gonna go like that. So we're gonna go to the end of this arc. No. So, what was that wire then? It wasn't a dart. It was wire that he touched him with from the from the hose. And now he fell, and the the pole's still gonna be shocking him because it's like that. I don't know. Is there a button on it or something? No. Okay, he's fine. Inject him with love. <laughs> purify, purify, cleanse, 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 purify. <laughs> Oh, 
God. God, you're an idiot. Like, you should have known this was going to happen, you fucking dumbass. Man, this guy's so stupid. Like, he's just so defiant to, to no end. To, like, an end that's just like, why do you keep doing this? It's not respectable, even. It's like, as a reader, it's kind of like, oh, shit, that's kind of cool. But then I'm having to, like, no, you, why'd you do that? Why? Unless he definitely has a plan. Maybe, right? He has to. He can't just be doing this out of spite. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he realized he's just, he just always needs to defy everything. He's just a little fucking bitch boy. Is he doing this? Is he... Uh... Was I right? I was right? Whoa! No, 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 no. That can't be. I thought I was being a fucking asshole about this. I thought I didn't like Guy and I was the only one. I thought I was weird. I thought I was stupid for thinking he was a little autistic shithead. But he's saying that. He's saying, no, it's my fault. I was a little autistic shithead. All the time. Exactly. Holy shit. Okay, this series just went from okay, but I didn't really like it because I could barely like Guy to now I fucking get it. I am supposed to hate Guy. I am supposed to not like him. Okay. Okay. I'm on board now. I'm fucking on board now. God damn. This is, this is the shit I love. This is some Kurosawa shit right here. Where I'm like, God damn it, Kurosawa, you dumb bastard. And I'm like, oh, okay, he realizes he's a dumb bastard. We, we didn't even get to see what the answer was. Like, what was the correct choice? But anyway, all suicide victims... Wait, are all suicide victims losers? Losers in what sense? As in they lost, like, a game type thing? Or like, I'm gonna assume he's losers as in like, Eh, hey, what a loser. Are all suicide victims losers? No. No, no, of course not. What? I mean, eh, no. I'll go with no. You know, I honestly used to say yes. I used to say, like, if you, if someone wants to commit, not, not they're losers, but, like, if someone wants to commit suicide, losers is a weird word. Can we say, like, are all suicide victims morally wrong? Or, like, do, are all suicide victims, you know, <laughs> did they deserve it or something like that, you know? Because I used to say, yeah. Not, not like they deserve, deserve is a bad word. But I used to be, like, like, eh, if they want to kill themselves, let them kill themselves. I, I used to think like that. Like, eh, if someone kills themselves, eh, let them kill themselves. But, like, if you are in the situation where you're going to kill yourself, then you're not in the right state of mind. You're not in the state of mind where, like, you can think rationally about if, if it's something you truly want to do. There's, yeah, there's cases where if someone kills themselves... Maybe, maybe, you know, they knew what they were doing. They ch they chose the right thing. Of course, my camera stopped recording at this, at this. But let's finish this thought first, and then I'll, uh, you know, transfer the footage and get it back on. But, like, yes, for the most part, no. Are, are all suicide victims, do they know what they're doing? Was that a thing that could have happened? Were they not wrong by doing it? Uh, I, I'm not sure even what sentence I just said there. I'm not sure if yes or no is what I'm trying to say. But no, they're not in the right frame of mind. And I've actually, I've, I've had people in my life commit suicide, and that's what kind of changed my mind about it. I guess it is something like that that needs to happen, where it's like you need to see it firsthand for it to happen. All right, let's, that, that went kind of dark. Let's, uh, let's change this around, and let me, let me switch the footage back on. All right, okay, so we're back, okay. Oh, wait, well, we immediately got another question. All right, let's, well, let's get back into this. If you're alone in an inhabited, in an uninhibited island, uninhibited, I mean uninhabited, uninhibited, Un what does that mean, uninhibited island, <laughs> do you have, the, okay, okay, never mind, if you're, that's what he means, morally, like, you know, you're, you're literally uninhibited, but it also is, uh, and an, an, now I've said the word so much, I can't remember the right word, but do you have the right to do anything you please? Uh, well, it depends on what you mean by anything. But no, I mean, technically, no. Well, well, anything can mean anything, so no. No. And it's it's already again. They have not answered a single one correctly. 
it's still only centimeters at a time though so there's like it's enough to, you dude you need to lay the fuck down lay down idiot I'm glad though the guy is looking back on his life and his personality and realize maybe I'm fucking stupid just throwing small tantrums without any desire to actually win this guy is honestly this is what the fucking director is trying to do get guy to think about shit like this Get him to realize he's the only one in the situation realizing that he fucked up in life. Yeah, he fucked it. He didn't go along with that dude. It's just a bug. Just a bug. And that, that guy was absolutely right. Okay, good. He's going to finally stop throwing tantrums all the time. He's going to go along with shit for the greater good. Because, yeah, in this situation, it's not like he needs to, like, believe in all this shit. He just needs to do it because it's in a situation where you just got to do it. You got no choice but to do it. So don't throw tantrums and try and fucking fight back when there's no point. Just do it. All right. One last question in a very simple form so that even idiots like you can understand. Okay. If it's you, if it's unanimous, I will accept it as correct. All right. Last question. Do you want to become human? No. You, this fucking guy, fucked it all up for everybody. No. You don't want to become human. You are human. Holy shit. Everybody. Is it guy? Is it really guy? I don't... Really? Do you want to become human? What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? They are human. Didn't we just have this answer earlier? Oh, shit. Is it really? Guy can't move? Alright, he did it. He got it. Oh, no, that was... Wait, what? Was that not it? Did he not actually... Was it not able... Okay, I guess it was just a cut to somebody else with their hand like that. That image is terrifying, though. The fucking hand coming up through the thing. That's some scary shit. No, he did do it. All right. Cool. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. That's bullshit. That's some bullshit right there. I don't know, that's a dumb question. Fuck that. Okay, two of these questions. Fuck, throw them in the trash. They're awful questions. Alright, I sense something else in you. I sense that you boys were longing to become human beings. That's bullshit. Fuck this. They are human beings. Fuck this shit. Fuck this noise. You're contradicting yourself. You said they were human beings earlier. This a, a baby abandoned in the in the jungle, raised by wolves, is that a human? Yes. What what does that mean? Yes. Are human okay? Throw this! God damn it! You just had a question earlier of are you dogs or are you humans? And he said the correct answer was being humans. You fucking contradicting moron. Okay, I'm off the director's side. I'm off his side. This guy's an idiot. Fuck this guy. Fuck him. Fuck him up his ass. Alright, how are, you, how are you going to become that true human being? What the hell is this? Oh, okay. Let's become human. Huh? Well, yeah, you can stand, obviously. Alright. Yeah, it will reject. Okay, so that's what this is. Your body's gonna not let you stand after all that time, but you have to prevail. I get what he's saying. Walk that carpet, boys. Walk that carpet. I'm not sure if Guy can. I don't think Guy's gonna be able to. He's fucking crying. He actually feels all of this. <laughs> Alright. This guy is so twisted, and now they've got this, like, fucking what's what's the word for it um oh the word the, the word for like when you get attached to your captor what's the fucking word stockholm syndrome that's the stock they're getting like stockholm syndrome with the fucking director now <laughs> come my sons my friends this emotional touching scene continues what about Guy, though? He doesn't want to be moved by it. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously they are trying to trick you, but how can you not get wrapped all up in this? All devils tend to be kind. <laughs> yes, that's kind of true. Oh my god. Guy, come on. Really? This guy is just, just this fucking fucking shaved head dude. Why is he important? He's done nothing but I mean like other than being in that room with Guy for the first time. He's just kind of always been there. There's no way Guy can escape though. After being paralyzed, after having his muscles atrophied like that. Oh, no way. There's no way he's going to do this. Oh, God. This... And now he absolutely turns on them. Get off of you fucking dogs. Ah, this director's a piece of shit. He's a true devil. Now, when do I end this second video? Who fucking knows? Who knows, man? Maybe we'll have to end it there. at the last video. Yeah, they're right. See, every time I'm like, is the series just going to not pay attention to that? But no. You think you're gonna skate with weak bodies like that? What did they do? Oh, the the pole. Yeah, guy stuck it right there. So now they're just gonna escape naked on a boat on a helicopter. How? Okay, yeah. Is it night? It is night. Sweet. Whoa, they're on a fucking like watchtower. Okay, no, they're not. They're right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I just saw the light coming from the watchtower. No. Okay, when the guards come to feed us, they came in from the sliding doors and went out the same way. Okay, so you can't break in. All right. And rope? Okay. Go. It's a rope tied in a noose. If all goes well, you can climb over the walls. But then what about Guy? What's he going to do? Perhaps the place a peninsula. Okay. You might be able to escape through the mountains. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. I mean, I guess we have to assume that's the case. Oh, yeah, he's got to get that tape. Got to get that tape. You got to go, man. You got to go right now. Go. Get out of here. Though, at the same time, if I was in his shoes, I would totally be suspicious of Guy right now. I'd be like, no. Why are you telling me to go? Mm, I don't trust it. I don't trust it one bit. I think you're setting me up so that way you can get away. Even though I don't think that's the case, that's what I would immediately assume. All right, what's Guy going to do? How's he going to get that tape? The rope's gone, right? No, Guy was under there the whole time. All right. Idiots. Now he can stretch. You're going to dress up in a guard's uniform? Somehow, maybe? Then, okay. So you got to run in there, get the uniform. Yep, too late. Bump, bump. <laughs> you fucking just boom, boom, and they're dead. I mean, not dead, but... Yeah, you get it. Now he's gonna dress up in the uniform. Hey, somebody wanna come with me? Alright. Alright. Uh, I actually, I think we'll end the video here. And then I guess we could just do the rest. Me, mm, yeah, that's a bit much. We'll see. Maybe it'll be one more video. Maybe it'll be two more videos. We'll see. But I'll see you guys next time. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. Doing some more guy. Chapter 25. Search. Okay. So this Miyoshi little motherfucker. Miyoshi looking guy, he's gonna try and escape too. He's telling him no. You can use it to your advantage, but don't even, don't, yeah, don't go with him. So yeah, choose by yourself, bitch. True, that scar, he's got such an easy recognizable face. What are you gonna do about that? He still has that fucking autistic mentality though. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. He knows, he knows that this is his fault. I guess he just can't change it. You, you look so suspicious right now. Okay, good. No one's here. I don't know. This seems like a setup, maybe. If they realize you're not, a, you're not outside escaping. Where is it? Where is it? He has it on him. You could always steal from the Harada family, maybe. Hmm, but yeah, they might destroy it. That's, yeah, that's what I said. Like, yeah, there's got to be one at their house. Okay, oh god, he's calling from the phone. Tell him to get it to Abe. Okay, Abe's coming back in the story, though. <laughs> he just immediately hung up. <laughs> so what, well, fuck, what do you do then? He's gonna walk right in, right? Oh, 
The desk drawers, maybe? No? What is that? A telephone jack? What? Okay, a computer. You are just getting so comfy right now, man. You're just getting so comfy in this office. Fly, fly, fly away. How are you going to contact Abe through the fucking computer? You got his AIM messenger? You got to fucking message him on AIM? What are you going to do? What the fuck are you possibly do? Let's just go to the fucking... On Yahoo! Yahoo! Yahoo Mail! Police Headquarters! Okay. Alright, now the, the, this prison is on full alert. I'm not sure if we can get out of here now. <laughs> Guy is so technologically impaired. He doesn't even know how to use a fucking computer. This is hilarious. <laughs> He's just hot and pecking. Police. <laughs> okay, so he's emailing him. Uh, uh, uh. Eh, eh. You got, yeah, okay. They, they knew it was him. What do you do? What do you do? Shit. Guy's just gonna punch him as soon as he gets over there, though. Fly away. Send it anyway. All you typed was Harada's V? Harada emergency. Harada's V. <laughs> yeah, it's somehow I feel like Abe's gonna know. Somehow. Whoa, what the fuck? The guy shot and it bounced off the desk. Oh, okay, because this guy moved. All right. Now he's got him on lockdown. Okay, how are you going to take action? You can start to get up as soon as he... So as soon as he fires that, you flip the table. And maybe it'll bounce back and hit him. It's so unlikely, but it's your only chance. Uh, No, it's that guy! He came! He came! Miyoshi, he came! I'm <laughs> just calling him Miyoshi now. He came! Good, though. Good. Maybe this will make Guy actually be friends with a single person in his fucking life. So he's still searching for that thing? Is he still searching for the tape? What else can we do? I feel I thought he was going to change uniforms because he started to, like, open up this closet, but... No, he hid again. Once again, hiding. Oh, a box cutter? Uh, I don't know. I don't think he's going to kill somebody. I don't think he's going to hurt somebody with it either. Uh, but what's his plan then? To cut a scar into somebody else, maybe? Actually? Like his his lightning scar? Okay, Ogawa is this guy's name. I'll try and call him that, not Miyoshi. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, okay, so he is worried about the police. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> they are doing all this illegally. Yeah, video. obviously videos. Of course not. I don't think he's still in the room, though. Is he still in here, then? Uh... Where the fuck? Oh, did they put... They, like, cut out the books... To just the front of the books. Maybe. With the with the box cutter. They were inside the long office sofa. Holy shit. What did they cut open the bottom of it and get in? Yeah. Yeah, no one really think about it at all. But now, what do you do? Just wait? Okay, eight eight five hours have passed. Jesus. Just sitting on a fucking couch. All right, the other guy didn't escape, or he, I'm not sure if he escaped or not, but they didn't find him at least. Yeah, for the moment, they arrest. Yeah. Everyone there, all the guards, they're suffering too. There is that chance, but how is that going to help this situation, other than the police coming to investigate, maybe? Huh? Did, oh, yeah, yeah, he would have been called if, if he didn't come in earlier. Now you realize the help of someone else. 
That being alone your whole life is fucking retarded. Good, thank you, guy. Thank you for finally becoming a sane human being. There it is, just one letter from guy. All right, what's he gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> Why? Why did I start doing that? Come on, look at the fucking mail! God damn it, Abe! Look at the mail! You piece of shit! Okay, there we go. Shit. Oh, okay, he almost threw him away, but... He missed, he missed! But, paper says, To Detective Abe, from Guy. Emergency, here, Rod is V. No, how would it be a fucking prank? It, and it says emergency, man, come on! Harada's vulgar vandal villain. You fucking idiot. It's gotta be like... Think about it. Security video. Come on. His Volkswagen. That, uh, yeah. Vodka vid video. Yes, there you go. Okay, good. He's watching it already. Okay, this guy from the same branch. Okay, he's in charge of the murder too. Mmm, yep. He's, t he's talking to Harada. He got bought out by Harada. No, come on, Abe, you gotta fucking save this video. Don't let it get destroyed. The call? Yes, the call was made at 11.20 p.m. Way too late. Yes, there you go. That's the one thing. There you go. Okay, they already had a loophole for this, though. They already had this explained. Okay, is there another clue in the video itself? There must be something in the video itself that proves that it's not 9 p.m. But he doesn't see anything. For example, maybe a restaurant delivery or some sort of delivery service. They're naming all these things it could be. So now it can't be something very simple. It's got to be something grandiose. Something like, holy shit, I can't believe we didn't see that, right? Or else, why would we go through all this? Like, why would we name all these small things it could be if it's just going to be one of these small things? Not actually one of these, but something small like that. Hmm, but he doesn't find anything. Okay, and, and the Harada, everyone's going to see it at the same time. Both of them. Harada doesn't notice. I don't think there will be any differences between the recording and the original copy. Is that it? Something difference. Some, the difference is in the copy. Shit, the next day. <laughs> no. It's not gonna help. What is it? The drink? The sound. The sound! But how- what? Is the sound really that off? What? Is the sound that off? Really? Then how did no one notice it? And why would the sound be off? Now that I think about it, why would the sound be off? But he doesn't know for sure. He's thinking about this. Let's think. Let's think. There was that man watching TV. His windows were open. Is it possible for him to not move an inch if someone was murdered right, like right next to him a few feet away? No. No. Isn't that it right there? The fucking murder? Okay, he's gonna make him move out. Alright, sure. Uh, okay, this guy just came out immediately. Hanada son! You came! I'm happy! You gave me money! Lots of money! <laughs> what is with this goofy dude? He must, he must be a foreigner, which is what this all is. I mean, clearly. He's <laughs> Jesus. Hanata san is God! You Jesus Christ, Hanata san! <laughs> move out. Yes? Move? I no mind move, but my brother has action. I am so, so worried. I am so, so worried. <laughs> like, that needs the cartoon sound of the... <laughs> I think 
I no can move. Oh, I can move. When should I move? <laughs> this fucking guy is the greatest character ever. Okay, I move. I think moving is good. <laughs> I see baseball at 11 p.m. I not see video. Uh, okay. The fact that his room's all messy. Does that have something to do with it? Maybe? That burned place. What is that? Boom! Gas explosion! Two months before a very big, very, very big sound. Two months on that day. Oh, I know, I know very well. Not video you gave to me. I was watching the real life baseball game. It was a little over 9 p.m. How fucking perfect. Okay, now everything's set. Now everything's set. It's all going together perfectly. Alright, go get that video. Better hurry up. But I feel like Abe's gotta get it first, right? Come on, Abe. 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 Karana. Abe. Get that fucking video. No, no, stop. Go get the video, you idiot. You stupid butt. Go get it. How did Guy know of it? How did Guy know about that, though? Or was Guy just saying, like, there must have been a sound? There had to have been some crazy sound. I don't know. That's a bit of a stretch that they couldn't hear because the, the house was soundproofed. I don't think you can get a house that soundproofed, but whatever. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. All for the sake of the story. We'll go with it. Whatever. He already took it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Abe. Abe's crooked, though. He can do something to get this tape back. Oh, boy, the director. What? What is... Okay, never mind. He's just worried. Never mind. Yeah, he must be... Oh, God. Mr. Raw is on the phone. Do you still have that video? Uh, yes, yes, I still have it. Uh, no! No! Guy, he didn't pos... He couldn't have possibly run away. This is... The, the Human Institute, after all. I mean, that would just be crazy. <laughs> yeah, now we finally realize that the V was video. But do you still have that videotape? I think he's going to go get the videotape, and then Guy knows where it is. He can get it. How did he not realize? How the fuck did he not realize? Because a Guy was holding the fucking bag with the video camera in it, and he was escaping the first time. Someone escaped, yes, but not, not Guy. Bring guy here. Okay. Then there will be no problem with that. Yes, sir. A rumor was found. A tumor was found. <laughs> uh-huh, I'm sure. Harada does not buy this at all. You should have just said something like he bit his tongue to try and, like, kill himself. Or something. Something a bit more believable, you fucking idiot. And cut off his tongue. Okay, we gotta find guy and cut off his tongue. <laughs> They've been modifying the bunker? They've been upgrading it. Jesus, man. You guys have too much time if you can upgrade your hiding spot. <laughs> I like that he's doing stretches and everything. That's nice. He's gonna end this with one move. What are you gonna do? What are you going to do, guy? All right, final volume. Here we go. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. What is going on in this cover? Okay, let's, let's get into it. Constraint. Everybody's coming. <laughs> the three-way clash. Also, I didn't, even, I didn't even talk about it, but they got Ishi... Ishi what, is, what was his name? Ishihara? And everyone's counting on Guy and Ogawara. Or wait, wait. Was that it? Ogawa. Ogawa. Uh, is that guy a guard? Is that guy, what's up with that guy? Who is that guy? Oh, okay, he doesn't want to be dragged into it, apparently. He'll receive the same punishment if he responds. You really want to get out? Uh, yeah, you gotta stay put. That's pretty much it. Has anyone been released before? Do you know? This guy's totally on the director's side, though. Alright, I get what he's saying. If you can't accomplish your dream, just like anything else, just like going hungry or getting thirsty, there's a negative reaction to not fulfilling your dream. 
Oh, God. Ishihara. Oh, man. I feel so bad for him. He really got the shit into the stick here. What is he giving him now? What is this? What is this? I Yeah, I agree. He, like, he seemed to escape for no fucking reason other than, Ugh, time to escape! <laughs> like, he didn't really have a reason. Even though, even though Gawa had a reason. Uh, uh, and died. Oh, shit, they're killing him. Oh, no, what the fuck is this? Uh... No! Oh, God! Okay, there is a serum. How the fuck would he know? Actually, he does know! Tell him! He's going for the tape! At least he realizes that ah, maybe they didn't meet shit. He again thinks he's still in the building. Yeah, he's right there! In the most unlikely place. Has he figured it out? Has he possibly figured it out? Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, uh, what you gonna do when the director comes for you, guy? Who knows? Who knows? I don't think he's figured out the couch yet. Okay, so if they confirm that the videotape is there, they know that he hasn't been to the library, at least. You could fucking die if, if Rada realizes that you lost that tape. Alright, we got it. Alright, good. It's the right one. Perfect. But... How's he gonna get the tape? This is perfect though. If I peel off the sticker and put it anywhere among these tapes. Yeah, this would all be so true if Guy wasn't in this room listening to all of this. And it's dinner time soon. Now he has all the time in the world to go check those tapes. Nope, 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 there you go. Bam. So fast, alright, we got it. At last. There's hot water in the thermos, that means you can probably Oh, you're gonna drink it? Drink hot water? I get okay, they're making tea from it. Okay, good. No, you idiot. Yeah, yeah. Don't wanna make any fatal mistakes. Oh, let's have this. The ones we've always had. One sugar cube. This is fucking part two of Kaiji all over again. They 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 have fucking determination. I'll give them that guy in uh Ogawa. They have some big ass determination to only eat one sugar cube. Every, I guess, like, three sugar cubes a day, maybe. And so why must be out of his fucking mind. He must be going absolutely mental. What can you possibly do? And what happened with uh, Ishihara? He was building some kind of project. He's making another guy. He's making another guy. Oh god, even his even his men are turning on him. We have to find a guy candidate. Oh god, my throat is like going hoarse. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry if I'm gonna be a little bit uh, quieter, but it's getting hard to speak. All right, so there's choosing some students as servers. All right. Now is a good chance to escape. It really sucks if you got, like, somebody taking your place, but whatever. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> punches him. Immediately punches him. Going to save Ishihara? Gotta get that, get that fucking, um, serum. I guess he already got the serum and he's fine now? Okay, sure. It's a torture chamber. That's very good, though. That's good for you. You could probably use some shit here. Hmm... He's somehow going to use that serum and the pit viper stuff. For for Harada, maybe? No, oh, he sees him. That guy looks pretty familiar. Stay here. The director is not listening at all. No way. He's lost his mind. And smoke. A forest fire. What? So you're going to kill this guy. Scorch the face, make it kind of look like guy. And that's a bit convincing. And now the guy catches on. Oh, yep. No, no, I don't. I don't. And yep, here he comes at that moment. Too late. He comes in too late. 
Okay, what now? What now? Harada's coming. What are you doing, guy? What are you planning? Alright. Alright. The final plan. Going into action. And yeah, he doesn't even know what it is. <laughs> no, no, what? That's not this one. Huh? What is it? And now he's going to go through every single one of them. Uh, guy is going to... Sneakily, let me just little pour the little snake poison in you real quick, Mr. Rada. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Just a little, little bit of snake poison. Oh, okay. It's all good now. <laughs> Students are just sitting out there with this guy. This sucks. <laughs> now he's beating him with a fucking pole. Where, where do you get that pole? What is that? What do you have? I don't even know. What is that, man? Is it just like a croquet mallet? And there you go, the day I killed Grandfather. Finally saying it. Okay, yeah, here what? There's someone in there. Something thin and sharp stabbed my butt. What? What? what, what, what? Ba, ba, ba. Hey, surprise, motherfucker. The team's all here. And shit, that guy kind of even looks like fucking uh, Mida. I could totally see this being like the proto- Part 2 Kaiji team. I guess part 3, technically. Alright, heard it all. Finally, But yeah, he's holding him as a hostage, but not like that guy cares. You've recorded it? I borrowed it for a little bit. Recognize this? Cell phone? No, I don't. Oh, his own cell phone. Oh, okay. That's what he's doing, not the poison. So who's the answering machine? Is it on? Is it on uh, Abe's messaging machine, then? The phone, the tape, we got it all. I win. Hell yeah, he does. Hell yeah. That was actually a really satisfying, uh, like, win. There we go. I didn't think the ending of this was going to be that satisfying because I wasn't really on board with Guy, but this whole series has turned it around. And I totally, I like Guy now. He had a change of heart and everything. This is great. This is a great series so far. I mean, it's almost over. It's a great series in general. Yeah, he would have to get outside for it. I don't know. Abe's also outside. Foolish words. Of course not. Of course not. So why, you idiot? You think he's going to care? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, god damn. I mean, it's not like it's going to kill him. Oh, it's going to start to hurt. It's going to start to hurt because I feel like he did put that poison in you. I like that, that also that Sawai wasn't even the big bad. Harada ended up being the big bad. I mean, like, of course, but like, still. I kind of actually didn't even see it coming. I thought they were just going to kind of be like, Alright, and now Harada's in jail. I didn't think he was going to be like this villainous about it all. I built a system that will save the rich and competent. This castle. It's, it's very, very true. Absolutely true. This guy is a menace. A snake. But there's still quite a bit of innocent people here too, which is fucked up. And Sawai probably didn't even know that. The government sure is sending you a fucking message. It was just following the message. So is trash like us. We're just as we're just as great as people who have all that shit you just said. They seem to be in vain, and it looks like they're desperate and suffering. But to them, it's a shining moment in their life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, uh, eh, sure, whatever. Uh, that's not too much of an emotional moment for me. I'm just like, eh, pff, okay, guy, whatever. Unless you get that serum, right? He has the he has that the uh, poison in him. He's got the poison. He gonna die. That boy gonna die. Unless he gets that serum, and by doing so, what what? Just let him let him leave. Yeah, you've been sweating severely. Makes sense you did scream and jump around a whole lot, but that isn't the only reason. Yep, okay, so you did inject him. Okay. It's poison. <laughs> you dumb, dumb motherfucker. You have three. Okay, so it's not even like you have to let us escape. It's, I hit it. Go fucking find it, bitch. Oh, man, my battery is running really low. Let's hope we can get through this in time. Oh, I hope I can make it through this without the battery dying. Okay, all the keys. Yeah, so that way you guys can't come after us. 
Yeah, what it, what can you do? What can you do? And now now the pain's starting to take effect. It's either death or jail. What do you pick? And an agonizing death too. Extremely agonizing death. And in front of all these people too. In front of all the boys. However, oh god. What? Shit, he didn't do it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Run. They already got the keys though. Just run. You're back as director. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Go. Oh, what do you do? All right, gotta make him suffer. Okay, keep him in that 30 centimeter high cage for decades. What's... It's not over. Okay, good. Because I was going to say, what, what, how, what? Chances are, I, it's still possible. Not, not, you've already been defeated. Not, I still won. Chances are, probably. Okay, there's a chance. Everyone here, this is your chance. If I escape and get the police, or if you guys escape with me, you know, whatever, all these fucking keys... Everyone, are you human beings? Let's take these fucking people down. Okay, we got two chapters left. My throat feels like it's bleeding. I've been screaming so much. Do it. Do it, you bastards. All right. They're starting to get down on all fours. Everyone. Everyone got down. Everyone. Come on, you damn dogs. Get up and become human beings, you fucks. Kai's just walking in between them. But they're humans. And it reaches. It reaches. I want to defeat them. I want to beat those bastards who did these horrible, terrible things to me. However, yeah, of course, of course, you fear. There is hope. We can win. This tape is evidence. Help me join this struggle. Please stand up. Fight. Come on. This is really like the proto- like every Fukumoto work, <laughs> like Kaiji, Kurosawa, I can see it all. The box cutter? I don't intend to save myself. What is it? What the fuck? Why? It's not for my sake. Oh, that. Ah, uh, oh. What are you doing, though? What are you doing? Take it. Just anyone, take it. Continue my fight. Why? Why even do that, though? What's the point? Just to prove, just to make people, yeah, the trust, the, to, to get people to, to believe in you. Okay, we're on the final chapter. Let's hope. Let's hope this fucking camera can last through it. Go! Get! Fucking fight, you dumb bastards! Let's go together. You guys can get shot down immediately, you dumbasses. But I get the I get the point of what they're trying to do. They're just, they were so shocked, and now they're grabbing on. They're not standing up, but they're grabbing on. Don't. He's willing to die. Oh, but he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Oh, not with these guys holding on to your leg. Boom. Oh, a human shield. Holy shit, it's their only chance. Let's save him. <coughs> God damn it. Let's send him off with our own hands. This this is really fucking cathartic. It, it's not it's not as good as Kurosawa's. It's not as great as that. 
you know, that's just like, I mean, that's, it's hard to, to, to compare because Curtis Howe is my favorite series of all time now. So it's hard to compare it to that. But, you know, this is the, the same sort of thing of the worthless trash people finally sticking up for themselves after, after trying to say for so long, just fucking get up and fight for yourself. And, and they wouldn't do it. Finally, yeah, full on prison break. Guys, soul reaching them. Finally, it finally opened. I, don't, I think Guy's going to die before they even get there. What? Oh, Abe! Abe, he got the message! Oh, no, the email. Okay. But nice, the police are here too. Yes, go save my friends! He actually called them his friends. Oh, that's adorable. Finally. Uh, is Guy going to say no, they're not dogs? I mean, I kind of agree. Everyone here is human. I don't think anyone's been the dogs ever. And I'm pretty sure he died. Okay, no. He's fine. Maybe. Guy returning back to school? Maybe. Yeah, just a scar on his wrist. Stand alone, the Raiden guy. That's, that's pretty awesome, though. That, that nice, like... He's, he's, he's in with the crowd now. It's kind of just implied, like, you know, he's he's part of them. He's part of everybody. Wait, was that guy? That can't be Guy. But it kind of implied, like, dun dun dun, that was Guy the whole time. I, that has to be then. What then? What about the scar? No, that can't be him. Because that's, there's no scar. So it must just be Guy was, like, you know, among these, one of these people. You know. But they keep zooming into that guy. I don't get it. I don't get why they keep zooming into that guy. Uh, I don't know. That's weird. Alright. Alright. And that's the end. Whew. Wee doggies. What a series. What a roller coaster of a series. One that I started off really liking. Then quickly dissolved into, eh, this series seems like it's going to turn out pretty shitty. I'm not really sure why anybody likes it. To then, eh, this series seems pretty good. To, okay, this series is actually great. To, alright, this series I can't really get. <laughs> what is happening? It is fucking past midnight. I've been recording for like three, four fucking hours. My throat is sore. I don't want to talk anymore. I just want to end this. You know, there's no, there's no recap. I can't do it. The battery's dying. I got no time. This is over. This has been a painful experience for me too. <laughs> I feel like I've gone through as much pain. No, obviously not. But all right. Uh, maybe I'll do a, like, retrospector for the series, because my friend's also reading this right now, so when he finishes, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys for that, maybe, we'll see you for that. What am I trying to say? Yep, something. Words. Get the fuck out of here.